Hello everybody, my name is Doomfish, and in today's video I'm going to be showing you how you can make a redstone randomizer in Minecraft so you get different random outputs every single time. So looking at this machine, it's pretty simple. We've got a little randomizer selector out here that will select through eight different shulker boxes, each with a different number of wooden swords in there. And we press the button, one will get pushed out, a output will come out, so if you just pay attention to the redstone lamps, we can see that only one of them gets turned on, and we can just keep on hitting this button over and over, and we'll see that it just randomly selects one each and every single time. So let's show you the materials you're going to need to build this machine. So, for the randomizer I showed above, you'll need eight shulker boxes, a lot of wooden swords, probably around like 60 maybe to 100, but they're pretty easy to make, so I shouldn't be too big of an issue. You'll need a dropper, a dispenser, two hoppers, a button, 19 repeaters, two comparators, around half a stack of redstone dust, nine sticky pistons, two pieces of glass, and around a stack of solid blocks. So the first thing you're going to want to go ahead and do is get your circle boxes ready. So to do that, in one circle box, you're going to want one wooden sword, in the next one, four wooden swords, in the next one, you'll want eight wooden swords, in this one, you're going to want 12 wooden swords, and then you'll also want 16 wooden swords in this one, You'll want 20 wooden swords in this one, you'll want 24 in this one, and you'll want 27 in this one. So the first thing we're going to go ahead and do is we're going to place a dispenser down right about here. So we get it facing on top of wherever uh, our block is, and this is sort of arbitrarily chosen. You can place it wherever. Um, we're going to want a sticky piston to the right side here, so out on this side right here. And then we're going to want to grab our glass blocks and go ahead and place them down on the side of that sticky piston, and then one on top right here as well. Then what you're going to want to go ahead and do is place down a dropper facing upwards right here, so diagonal to this dispenser, place down a hopper facing into it, and then a hopper above that dropper facing into the dispenser back here. Now behind the dispenser, or on the side behind the dispenser, we're going to go underneath the dropper and place down a 2x2 two two square of blocks right here. We're going to have a comparator facing out of that dropper, into a block, into some dust, into a repeater facing towards back towards the dropper over here, into a solid block right there. Now go ahead and place down two blocks behind the sticky piston, two blocks to the right so we get a shape like this, and go ahead and place down a button here, put down a repeater facing left with four ticks, and then one facing towards our sticky piston with another four ticks, and place down some redstone dust right here. And now in this dispenser right here, go ahead and place in your eight shulker boxes that you prepared earlier with the proper amount of wooden swords in them. Now go ahead in front of the dispenser in front of this block, we're going to place down uh, 16 solid blocks in a row like so. Now go ahead and place a comparator on this block right here facing outwards, and go ahead and place down a solid block in front of it to the right like so. Skip a block, place another solid block, skip one, place one, all the way down to the very end right here. Now go ahead and place a sticky piston facing upwards with a block on top of it, and then another block in front of it for each and every one of these sort of protrusions on the side. Now on top of this block right here, facing into the sticky piston, we're going to place a repeater set to three ticks, and then we're going to go ahead and place a repeater set to four ticks at the side here. And we're going to do this for each and every one of these. And then go ahead and place down some redstone dust on the side right here, on this long uh, row of blocks right there. Now on the opposite side, behind each of these sort of piston setups here, we're going to place down one block here, one block down, break that block right there, go ahead and place down one block like so underneath, another block here, and one block here. Then go ahead and place a repeater here, some dust here, and then some dust here. I'm going to do this for every single one of these spaces, except for the space at the very end, does not need one. Now our randomizer is complete, but just to illustrate that this thing is working, I'm going to go ahead and place down some of these redstone lamps in front of these repeaters here. And we can see when we press the button, just like we saw earlier, the shulker box comes out, it gets pushed away into this system right here. And again, looking over here on this side, we can see a random redstone lamp lights up every single time. So if you want more than the eight outputs the original machine will give you, then what you can do is simply just stack them on top of each other like I've done here. And then the system on the left is just another one of these eight item randomizers, um, but it is hooked up so that the outputs of these actually go into one of these um, another eight bit randomizers. We've got eight items here all the way up eight times. It gets us 64 different items. And what we can see is when we hit this button, it'll go into that first randomizer, it'll give off a pulse, and that pulse will actually correlate to one of these. And so we just saw, you might have seen that bottom one was correlated to. And just paying attention to the um, the lamps that go off, the bottom one went off and that lamp went off there. This is good if you have like some sort of slot machine or something else that you really want to be randomized. and You want a bunch, a ton of different outputs here. You could even stack this up even higher, but this is probably the highest I'd recommend going. As you can see, that one just went off over there. 
And so theoretically, I don't actually know how the RNG in Minecraft operates, uh, but that one went off up there. Um, you should get a different result, one out of, or you should have a completely random chance, an equal chance of getting one of each of these results. Obviously, you could definitely get the same result twice in a row, um, but it's pretty unlikely. That one went off up there as well. And so, yeah, there's are 64 different outputs you can get here just by stacking that original design we had up. And then we have some vertical wires over here connecting one randomizer up to these eight other ones. So I hope you enjoyed the video. And if you did or found it informative, don't be afraid to leave a like. And you can subscribe for more content just like this in the future. And I will see you in the next one. Peace.